All right. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for hopping on tonight. Uh, sorry about the confusion, but we're on. We're on. This is uh, the second to last call of the year. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Um, we were pushing for Elite last year, 2015, and then when we started this year, I felt like we had um, all this time, right? And then here we are again, two weeks uh, left uh, for the year to be over. But it's been an exciting year. We're going to have our last call next Thursday. We're going to go over all the good stuff that has happened on Team Advent. I'm looking forward to that call. But um, I actually want to just remind you guys that on the 27th of this month, so next week, what's the 27th? A Tuesday is when we have the, uh, the limited edition all access challenge pack available. You know, we hopped on the call on Monday uh, just to discuss that. But for those who did it, I will be putting on the recording later tonight so that you can watch it and, you know, hear all the details to it. And, you know, some questions were asked and we were able to answer those. I also posted the FAQs to it um, in, the, in the team page. But uh, very quickly, it's going to be $199. I mean, all access to Beachbody on Demand all year. I mean, that's incredible. And, you know, I share the story how I paid $205 and so did um, Nilda and Michelle because uh, they're uh, some of my oldies um, in here. And we paid $205 for T25 for one program. And now you're paying $199 for all of Beachbody. So, I mean, I'm really excited about that. It's going to be, you know, worth three Success Club points. You know, the commission is going to be $70. I mean, like, he, yeah, Carl Deichler definitely lost his mind. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited that he did. Um, but I'm going to um, also congratulate our individuals, our coaches that have hit Success Club already this month. Um, Amy is rocking it this month, man. She's at Success Club 20. I mean, congrats, Amy. That is amazing. And the month isn't even over. The All Access Challenge Pack isn't even here. So she's going to kill it, man. She's already killing it. Um, we have Maritza at Success Club 6, right? I Yep, okay. And then we also have Nilda at Success Club 6. So congratulations, guys. Really, really excited. I know many of you have either Success Club 2 or 4. So, you know, make sure I post it. Matias um, has a, a cost, so sorry about that. But um, we, I posted a, a bingo game that I want to play with you guys, so make sure to go into the team page and check it out. It's going to start on the 26th. The rules are there. It's going to be fun. There's going to be prizes. So, you know, clean slate for everybody, everybody starting that one week, all right? So let's open it up for Carlos. I'm really excited to have Carlos on our call. He is from the corporate team. He's the senior manager um, that basically oversees all of the uh, Latin market. And I think as of 2017, he's it, man. <laughs> and I know that I've met Carlos on, you know, um, various occasions. He's amazing. His energy, you know, I, I think I spoke to him for the first time when I was on the Yamada Nacional. And he just has this gift that I was nervous because I said, what am I going to talk about? And he just was nonchalantly interviewing me. And then at the end of the call, he's like, oh, great. You're going to speak about this. What do you think? And I'm like, holy crap. How did, like, he even know? Like, it was just amazing. He's amazing. So this call is going to be great. He, you know, drops up knowledge on me then. And every time I see him at, at the Beachbody events, he continues to add more value. And I'm like, you got to just be on my call, man. So he's here. Please um, welcome him. And Carlos, the floor is yours. I'm excited. Gabby, so thanks so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity, guys. I, I love, I love the, the, the fact that we're together. It's a Thursday night, Thursday night, December the 22nd. And we're together. And you know why we're together? Because you, you, you are committed to what you're doing for others. You really are committed to making sure that you're a true coach. You're helping people achieve their goals and, and, and live healthy, fulfilling lives. And I love this. I love the fact that we can get together, talk about cool stuff, have fun, 
I know that we're, cre we're having an impact on people all over the, the U.S. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, a groups in Canada or Puerto Rico, but if you do, awesome. I congratulate you because what we're doing is really significant. It's, it's really amazing. And, and, and around this time, people get super distracted. They, 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 in a way, they put aside their fitness goals and they start thinking, well, I'm just going to focus on, on what I'm going to be doing with the family. And that's fine. It's okay. However, it depends on us. It depends on you right now, what you are doing to prepare and to be that coach those people are going to need on the 26th. <laughs> because let me tell you, after Christmas, they're going to be thinking, oh my gosh, I need to do something about this. I need to, I need to make sure that I'm, I'm in good condition. I mean, I'm, I'm looking good or I'm healthy. I'm, I'm healthy for my kids or, or whatever it is that's in their minds. And, and what the first person is going to come to their mind is going to be you as long as you're posting through these days. As long as you're being consistent and you're there present and sharing with them what you feel. Because people don't care about logos. They don't care about, uh, about cool promotions. They care about you connecting with them. And that's why I love that we're together. Because right now, I've, I've got a couple of things I'd like to share with you at the end of this year. I've got basically three short messages and stories that I want to share with you so we can, so we can connect and we can, in, in a way, celebrate what we've been doing and also focus on what we're going to be doing next year. So Gabby, in, 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 like she was saying, we've, we've met a couple times in different events. We've talked. And, and one of the things that, that, that really impacted me when I was talking to her is that she really cares about the people she's working with. She started this business because she really wanted to share with others what she has, what she has found. And I, and I love that. And I love that because that's really what, what, what successful coaches do. They sincerely care about the people they're working with and, and they, they treat them with respect and they, they love them and they share with them the things that they know are going to help them achieve their goals. So, so yeah, we, we, got a, we had a, a national call. It was super fun. People loved it. I mean, lots of people listened to the call live and then lots of them keep on listening as the, the months go by. So it's super fun. And, um, and, and, and let me tell you, in the Spanish market, we've been growing so much. This year for Beachbody has been the greatest growth ever and the U.S. Spanish market. And, and I'm super, I, I guess, honored with the, the, the fact that, 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 uh, that uh, we've been working on it. So, um, yeah, it's an untapped market. So, you know, huh? 58 million Latinos in the U.S., 40 million of them. Uh, I mean, 65% of, of the Latinos in the U.S. need what we have. And, and, and so the market's pretty much virgin. We only have 10,000 Spanish speaking coaches or bilingual coaches. So you can see the 40 million market, only 10,000 people who know who we are. So there's a lot. So our growth was over 400% from December last year to what we're ending up right now is huge, humongous. And the whole company is aligning to that. It's making sure that we're providing that, that benefit also to that, to that community that continues to grow in the U S. So, so that was sort of like the update I had. So, now, the first message I have for you is called cycles, cycles, cycles. Have you noticed that our life revolves around cycles? Constantly, everything we do is a cycle. Think about a day, 24 hours, 24 hours, that's it, right? And then a week, seven days, a week, and then a month, and then for a month, 12 months, a year. And the cool thing, what I love about cycles is that they, they renew your lives. They renew, they give you another chance. You always have a new day. And that's why I love cycles because in, in a cycle, in, in a day, you can have a horrible day. You can wake up and you go, oh, nothing worked out for me. I feel horrible. But guess what? You have another day. And it just, as soon as you wake up, boom, you've got another day. You've got a new chance to do things, to make a difference in your life and the lives of others. That's why I love cycles. You can say that you have an amazing week. You had a phenomenal week and it was so good. You learned so much. You're ready to go. The following week, maybe you don't have a, a very good week. And, and you feel sad and you feel depressed and, and you go, oh, man. But guess what? You get another week, another week that's starting that gives you the opportunity to improve and to be better and to, and, 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 and to feel confident and that feel that you're actually achieving your goals. And the same thing with years. 
God was telling us we had a phenomenal year, great things. And you know what? During this time of year, people are analyzing themselves. And they're thinking. And lots of people are actually very sad. They're very sad. It, it is a season to be happy, but lots of people are very sad. You know why? Because they look back on the year and they go, man, I did not do that what I wanted to do. I, 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 I did not follow. I did not achieve what I wanted to achieve. And, and you know what, guys? That's okay. It's okay to think that way. Because you know what? We all are thinking the same thing. But it's your role as a coach, as a team, to embrace each other and say, you know what? We've got another year. We can do this next year. It's okay to, um, to, to have that little that sad moment. But don't, don't, don't cry more than a day. Please don't do that. Okay? Because let me tell you, you're going to miss out on the new day you were given. You're going to miss out on that new week that you were given because you're, you're pondering and, and crying about what happened last week. Learn from what happened last week and focus on the future. And I tell you, that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Be grateful for the great things you've learned. And if you did not achieve your goal, it's okay. Learn from it and commit and be part of the group. Stay close to this awesome group so you can feel the warmth that, that, that comes from, from being together. Okay, so that's the first one, cycles. It will happen every time, guys, every time. For some reason, it continues to go on. And I love that, that saying at the end of the year, hey, guess what? We went around the, or the, 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 the sun once, once more. So happy end of journey. Uh, by the way, we just started the next one already. So it's a constant cycle. And if you think about it that way, guys, we've got the wonderful opportunity to make things better and better. You just have to make the choice of taking it that way. So yeah, my invitation is that at the end of the cycle, celebrate what went well. Yeah, maybe you can have a couple hours of sadness about the things that did not go well, but be happy on the fact that you have a new cycle in front of you and you have the choice to make it better. So that was the first one. Hope you like it, okay? Keep it in your mind, keep it in your mind. The next one, the next one has to do with creation. Creation, okay, this is the other story. Think about this pen right here. See this pen? Everything, everything in this world goes through a process of creation. Anything you see, see that flag up there? That's a cool flag, that's another story I'll tell it to you some other time when, if you invite me again, I hope that, that, that I've done this at some point and I can tell you a story about that flag. But, but everything you see up there, everything has, has been created. Everything was created. But there is a two process to creation, guys. The first creation is always virtual. It's always in the mind. First creation happens here. Before something can actually be executed and made into a, a pen, something ha someone had to imagine it. Someone had to think, hey, you know what? I'm gonna make a pen. And, and, and I'm going to make it very cool because it's going to have this very soft edge. So when some people like to, 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 to write, then they have this soft cushion there. You know? and, and you know what? Uh, I, I'm, going to, I, I'm going to add ink to it. Right? So now, I don't know much about ink. I do want to have some of the best ink. But I know that Gabby's very good at that. So in my plan, I want to make a pen. Right? But then, because I'm imagining it, I immediately start thinking, who can help me make this pen? Oh, Gabby, she's an expert with inks. So I'm going to talk to her. And that way, little by little, in your mind, you start organizing what you're going to be doing to make this pen a reality. Now, most people, most of us, have the wonderful gift. And, and sorry if, I, if, if, if I'm getting a, a, a little... A, uh, if I share a little bit of my faith with you, but even God, okay, is a creator. And that little something of creation is in all of us. All of us have the ability to create things. We all do. Now, the reason why many of us do not create is because it takes us there is a couple steps that are in between that are going to help you make 
your creation that you have in your mind into an actual reality, whether it is a pen or a table or, or, or becoming a star diamond, whatever it is. And, and that's what I'm going to give you now. I'm going to give you now the tips, two tips from taking your vision, your dreams, your uh, ideas that are in your mind into a reality during 2017. Okay. Of course, I mean, the first thing is you have to imagine, you have to go there and create a vision. But for that vision to become a reality, I'm going to ask you to do two things. Two things. Number one, write it down. Yes, write down what you want to accomplish. Okay. Write it down. Write it down because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you uh, remember that it's there. When you write it down, you put it in a piece of paper and you put it in a place that's visible, whether it's a, a vision board or it's a, an actual business plan that you can come up with, write it down. That's going to help you have focus on what you're trying to do. And the other thing is put dates to this plan. Set a date. Set a date. And it's going to be hard to say, oh, Carlos, I, I, but I, 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 maybe I'm planning on being a five-star diamond or a one-star diamond. How do you put a date to that? That's the cool part, but when you start thinking about dates, you realize that a five-star diamond is not really a, a date, maybe, right now for you, right? Maybe when you start thinking, it's like, you know what, in January, I'm gonna make sure I hit success at five, you know? And I'm gonna make sure that maybe one or two of my coaches also do that. And then you start basically creating a plan that goes a full year, and then you realize, if I want to become a five-star diamond, maybe I'm going to be, I'm going to be a five-star diamond by summit. But because you know what it takes to be a five-star diamond, maybe you don't know right now. And that's when you say, hey, you know what? I'm not very good at, about inks. I want the, be, the best ink possible, but I don't know about it, so I'm going to talk to my friend Gabby. You know? It, same thing. It, I mean, she's already done this in the past, so you can go to her and say, hey, you know what? Let's put together a plan. My, my, my vision is to become this. Help me out. How can I do this? And you recruit the help of others. Not a boss. Not, not it's a friend who says, oh, you want to achieve this? Let's talk about it. And then you can have a conversation. And then together you can start putting this, this plan together. So first thing, write it down. Second, start adding dates to it. And when you start adding dates, you're going to realize, hmm, maybe I need to break it down because it cannot be a five-star diamond in month. Cannot have as the goal to be five-star diamond in January. Now, who, who knows how to do this? Oh, okay. I'm going to talk to Rudy. Okay. Rudy knows about this. Okay. Rudy, I know that you, you're coming up with emeralds all the time. Help me out. How, how, how do you help someone become an emerald? And then you can have a conversation. Well, yeah, you talk to them about... Uh about uh, their family, about uh, if they have a brother or sister or anybody that wants to join and then you try and get them excited about it and, you know, you have them get two of their close people because you want them to be able to control those emeralds. It's all about control. The first time you can control it. After that, it's hard, but um, to control the rest of it, the rest of it, you just got to keep building. So you have them control those emeralds and, and that's it. Yeah, you see that, guys? That's a power of wiki. I love that. I don't know if you heard that before. Wiki, you know, W-I-K-I, wiki. That means we can, we do stuff together. If you know something, you come back to this forum and I tell you, you're going to get answers. And I love this. And I love this because you can work together. But at the end of the day, it is your decision. It is your plan. It is your vision. It, it, they're your dates. And then the team can support you and help you on that. Okay, so first, right, we talked about cycles. Now we talked about a vision or creation, how you create stuff, right? How you take something from being a, a, a vision or an idea and make it into a reality. The key really is, is writing it down and start putting dates to it to execute. Man, that's going to force you. For some reason, we work towards dates. Think about this. Uh, I mean, I've been married now for 14 years, almost 14 years. My wife and I, and we've got four beautiful children. And, and, and I remember when, when, uh, when my wife and I said, you know, okay, well, we're going to get married. That what was the first thing that came to our minds afterwards. It's like, when? When is this going to happen? And we set a date. And when we set the date, then we start working backwards. 
Okay, what do we need to get married? Oh, we need a marriage license. Oh, if, if we're gonna have a party, if, do we wanna have a party? Yeah, we wanna have a party, you know? And you start working back and create a plan for that marriage, right? And, and whether it's write a book, you can say, oh, you know what? I actually wanna write a book. I believe that I've got content that people need. So then, once again, same thing. You first set a date, okay, I wanna publish my book by 2018. Now, I've never published a book before, so I'm better to start finding out how you do this. But because you have a date, then you know you start working towards it. So, cool. Okay, so that was second one. First cycles. Second one, creation process. Okay? Third, okay, do we have your uh, timeline? Exactly, my friend. Timeline. That's right. Smart goals. Sorry. Yeah. And um, I love this. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic timeline. Love this. Okay, the next story I have for you is um, the importance of determination and will. Now, there was a, a university in California. I can never forget the name of the, the university itself, but had, they had very low budget to attract and to work with um, with uh, the, their sporting teams, right? Sports teams, and um, a group of a human performance scientists, human performance scientists, went to the aid of this coach and they said, you know what, if, if, we, if you wanna start winning championships and getting your, your athletic department to increase in fame and in and, 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 and achievement, uh, we can help you point out what are, what are the key, the key um, attributes, the key attributes that you need to look for in an athlete before you extend the invitation to come and join your department. And these guys are doing, they went to town. I mean, they, they did a research for over three years, you know, and what they would do is like every time they had a, 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 a they would, the, the recruiters would go out to high schools and stuff and, and, and talk to these kids. And, and then, then the kid would come into their university, extended a, a scholarship and, and they would, they would observe and look at these kids. And, uh, and uh, obviously most people think, oh, what you need to look for is that they have the skills and they're very good at it and they're team players and so forth, blah, 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 right? And, and that's the obvious thing. You think, oh, if I want to have a good basketball team, I need to make sure they've got talented kids and who are coachable, right? Yeah, those things, yeah, those things are important. They're like the base, right? But they came, out, they came back and said, the main thing you need to be looking for in a student athlete that you want to recruit for your program is the determination to succeed. If they do not have the determination to succeed, the willpower, no matter how talented they are, they will quit or they will not contribute to that winning team. Wow, that was, that was super interesting because, you know, guys, that is something that you need to be looking for also in yourself and in those coaches you're recruiting to be your coaches. Help them get the determination to succeed. Help them, help them see that they have the hunger to help others, hunger to build a business, the, the, the willingness to do it, to get it done, and then strengthen it. Because you know what? The will is sort of, sometimes it's even like a, like a, like a muscle. You, know, you need to practice it, you need to strengthen it. Because sometimes it, it weakens, you know. But, but to, to, uh, to depict that and to help you uh, see that, I just want you to look around right now. Migdalia, Zenobia, Michelle, Aida, Rudy, Nilda, Amy, Gabriela. Once again, it's Thursday night, guys. What are you doing in front of this computer? This right now speaks to me that you have the will to succeed that you want to make this something that will impact the lives of others, even your own life. And I congratulate you for that. And I, and I applaud you. And I say to you, man, good job. Keep doing this. Now, I've got this poem that I want to read to you. Hope you like it. Let me see if I can find it here. Where is it? Ah, oh, there you go. This is a poem by a lady, phenomenal lady, her name is Ella Willer Wilcox, and I'm going to copy it right here so you guys can see it right now. Uh, actually, and paste. Okay. 
And let me see if I can. Okay, there it is. Willpower, it's called. Okay. Ready? I'm, I'm going to read a poem now. Okay. <laughs> there is no chance, no destiny, no fate that can circumvent or hinder or control the firm resolve of a determined soul. Gifts count for nothing. Will alone is great. All things give way before it soon or late. What obstacle can stay the mighty force of the sea-seeking river in its course? Or cause the ascending orb of day to wait? Each well-born soul must win what it deserves. Let the fool prate of luck. The fortunate is he whose earnest purpose never swerves, whose slightest action or inaction serves the one great aim. Why, even death stands still and waits an hour sometimes for such a will. Ella Willer Wilcox. I love this poem because it speaks about you guys. You put your will to work when you had that transformation. You wanted that. You needed it for your own health, for, the, for your own family. You needed to, to lose those five pounds, those 10 pounds, whatever you lost. You needed to lose that and you put your will to it and you achieved it. Coaching business is no different. You may need to know how to make a Zoom call. You may need to learn how to make a Facebook post. But those skills are secondary to your will. If you have the will to succeed, I promise you, you will even learn German if you need to. Well, let me tell you, I, I, I feel super privileged really to, to be with you tonight and, and to share with you this, these thoughts. And to close, I, I want to share with you something very cool. When I was driving here, back from the haircut place, because I just got a haircut, I was listening to an oldie station. And, and in, the oldie, in this station, they were playing a couple Christmas songs that were pretty cool. But the one song that, that took me home, basically, it's a song that we all know. It's called We Are the Champions. We are the champions, my friends. Awesome. But I was also reflecting and thinking, guys, this is the end of the year. We've got less than, uh, what, um, nine days before the year ends. And, uh, it, it, and, and, and right then when I was thinking about that, this verse stroked my mind said, we are the champions, my friends. We kept on fighting till the end. And that reminded me of, of this conversation we're having right now. It is the end of the year. You should be disconnecting completely and forgetting about everything. But you're not. Because you are champions. You are champions and you keep on fighting till the end. And I'm super grateful to be able to call myself an associate of yours. So thanks so much for, your, for the opportunity, Gabriela. If you have any questions for me, please, I'd love to answer them. And yeah, Queen, uh, Queen was the one I got. Thanks so much. I love it. I love all three points, but um, all of them, all of them. But I just have to say the part of you saying, you know, you were going to share your faith with us and, and mention that God is our creator. I think that, you know, we talk about this all the time in our team chat or in our calls where, you know, God created us in his image and that we have the power and the potential to do anything that we want to do. And then you go back to when he created the earth and he did it in six days, right? And he did it in steps. He didn't do everything. He has the potential. He's God. He could have done it in one day, right? He could have done it in seconds but he did it, you know, in steps. And that's exactly what this coaching opportunity is about, you know, just like our transformation. We do it day in and day out, right? Because nothing happens overnight. So that just really stuck with me. And, you know, thank you for sharing this. And, you know, I love everything about it just because we've been, I've been meeting with some of um, the coaches already. We've been having 
Zoom calls to plan ahead, you know, to talk about 2017, because it is about that. It's about writing it down and setting a date. You know, I, have an, I, I was having a conversation with a coach, and she's like, why do we put a date to it? And I said, because if you don't, it'll never happen because then you don't strive for it because it's just kind of up in the air. So this call was amazing. Thank you so much, Carlos. Um, I'm so glad that you, you know, were able to hop on. Does anyone have any thoughts or questions for Carlos? Uh, let me see. Is that Ada? Yeah, I, I know that, um, I thought I was going to hear more about uh, how to um, go out into the Latino market, but that's okay. Um, what I, I'm going to take with me today with Carlos is, yeah, the creation, you know, God is the creation of the world, and he created us in his spirit, his spirit, meaning that everything that belongs to him and you believe is ours. However, for God is now, he's taught us to do it one day at a time. Even though we're in his spirit, doesn't mean that we're going to get it right now. But who said that we can't believe that and that it won't happen right now? So I don't want to say that I'm going to end the, the year without hitting success club. I want to say that I'm going to, hit, I'm going to end the year helping people out. Because you said December 26th, people are going to be looking for me or, or whatever it is that I can do to help. But I still have to remember that it still takes time, you know, for those people to really still believe that they can do it. I just wanted to share that. It was in my head <laughs> throughout the call. <laughs> Ada, thanks so much. You know, uh, um you know what let me let me let me uh, add a couple things to this you know i think it's important that that um that we know that the process is what makes us different is what teaches us what transforms us and the process even even when the, the word created the world there was a process and 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 i think the process is very important to be part of it and to know it and embrace it and say you know what we're learning now about the Spanish market, let me give you a couple of tips. Okay, once again, 58 million. 40 million of them prefer to do business in Spanish. They're more comfortable doing business in Spanish. That means that if you want to approach the Spanish market, you need to start helping them see that you can build in Spanish. Now, you may say, Carlos, but I don't speak Spanish. How do I do this? Find a bilingual Latina. Yes, find a bilingual Latina. You bring her in. Teach her to be a coach. Teach her to be an emerald. And when she's an emerald or a diamond, connect them with us, the Spanish market for Beachbody. And we've got a phenomenal, a phenomenal support group. Gabby, you know, she's been one of the trainers there. We put all the coaches together and basically have two groups. One of them is called Coaches Latinos at Team Beachbody. We have about 4,000 coaches there in that Facebook group. It's like the champions page, but in Spanish. And it's heavy, heavy on tactical, meaning what am I doing to get new, new customers? What am I doing in my challenge groups? Super, super tactical. And the thing is, it, is it all in Spanish? Everything. So you can go, you can request now to be added to that page. It's called Coaches Latinos, the Team Beachbody on Facebook. And, and we'll, we'll grant you access and you can start adding the coaches who are bilingual in your group that you can send them in. So once again, it's not necessary for you to speak the language. But if you want to take advantage of the phenomenal opportunity we have in Spanish, go and get a bilingual Latina mm -hmm. who can then build there. So that's one. The other thing is Beachbody, the opportunity, the, the opportunity in Spanish is amazing. Mm -hmm. most, most direct, com the most direct com selling companies of their 100% of their, of their uh, coaches, right? Like, they, you know, I'm talking about like Mary Kay, Avon, you know, all these mm -hmm. also sell directly. About 25% of all their coaches are Latinas. Yeah. Yep. 25%. You know, we're not even 1%. Wow. We, 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 we only have 10,000 Spanish coaches. 
10,000 guys. Out of 450,000 coaches, only 10,000. What does that mean? It means that the opportunity is huge. Humongous. What did you say the number was? 25% for other direct yeah, selling over, companies? In fact, of all the direct selling companies in the U.S., there's about 20 million direct sellers in the U.S. 22 million, something. And 25% are Latinos. Wow, only 25%. Well, that's a huge chunk, guys. Very big. And they're super engaged, and they're very engaged in, in sharing with others. In fact, on Facebook and in social media, Latinos are more engaged than any other demographic. So they're constantly liking and sharing stuff. That way, your message would spread faster in Spanish than any other language. Because if it's appealing to them, they will share it. It's not like, in the, like people that, that, that they like it and they just look at it and they don't do anything about it. Latinos, for some reason, they, they like it and they go crazy. Like my mom, she, sometimes she drives me crazy because I go to my feet and I say, oh, this thing that she's liked. You know, and she's sharing them on her wall. You know, stuff that she said, oh, this is so cool, Carlos. And you have a six or seven-year-old lady sharing stuff that sometimes I think is crazy. But the thing is this, that is not an isolated reaction. Most Latinos really want to share the stuff that they like. And if they really like your message and they really like your transformation, they really like the story you're telling, they will share it with everybody. I'm going to stop posting in Spanish. Yeah. I tell you, start connecting with them and you'll see. Yeah. They're going to start coming. Now, Amy, don't, be, don't feel left out. Let me tell you. Promise you can you can you can get you can get a, a Latina, a, a Gabby, right, and teach her how to do the business in English, and then you tell her, you know what, we've got an awesome opportunity in Spanish. Come come, come and hang out with these guys, these these crazy guys, the, the Latino coaches. You'll see. what well, we've got awesome parties, guys. What's it? Our parties are amazing. We had a, a party, a summit. Before summit, we had a summit in Spanish. We were planning on having about two hundred people there. We had over 550. It was crazy. Everybody was standing around. And, and, and uh, we had no space for them. But it was just like, hey, everybody knew each other. First time they ever see each other. And they were just partying around. That's how they are. That's how we are. So it makes it very, very fun to interact and get people in there and, and, and building. So, so, yeah, find a Latina who's, who's bilingual, teach her to do business in English, and then send, send them our way and we can take it from there. The other tip I forgot for you about the Spanish market. Um, we're growing super fast. We really are growing very fast. We, this year alone, we grew close to 400% or even more, I don't know. And um, that has, that synergy has, it, it, there's a saying that says, when the, the tide comes up, all boats float, I mean, it, it, get, it race up, right? Rise up. And that's exactly what's going to happen. If you get your coaches or you yourself get engaged in the Spanish market, let me tell you, you're going to see how this tide is bringing all the boats up in the harbor. And that's what's going to happen to your business. And now, the company is super focused on this. Let me tell you, last year, when I started the Beachbody, we had two programs in Spanish on Beachbody On Demand. Two. Now we've got 12. That means if somebody is using Beachbody On Demand, they can watch 12 new programs, well, 12 programs in Spanish in that platform. And that beats buying 12 different sets of DVDs. Promise. So, yeah, I love this, uh, this pack that, that Carl Dieter, Michael, and, and Jeff came up with. It's phenomenal. I think it's the best way of doing it because now when you want to move them on to the next program, you don't have to ask them, hey, by the way, you need to buy another challenge pack. No, you just tell them, guess what? I'm going to give you five days of break, okay? And then we're starting our next program on Monday. You tell me which program you want to do. You just finished doing one day fix. Do you want to do extreme or do you want to do 22-minute hardcore or body beast, hammer and chisel, eh, or country heat, which one you want to do? Because in five days, we're starting again, and I can help you achieve your goals. Like I have hundreds of other girls. See how cool that is? It's not a question, oh, I don't think I have the $180. No, it's just psychology. It's just people buying the psychology, and they're ready to go. And I love that, because it's going to be right there for them. 
It's going to allow them to have access to our entire library for a full year. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And, and once again, perfect for the Latinos because they'll have access to 12 different programs in Spanish right off the bat. So yeah, those were my thoughts about the Spanish market. If you want more stuff, once again, start posting in Spanish and you'll see. And, and the thing is this, Latinos love for you to talk to them a little straight. You say, hey, if you like this video, share it. Share it now. Do not keep the secret to yourself. Share it. You see, everyone's going to start sharing it. You know? Of course, as long as you provide content that is appealing, it, it creates value, and, 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 and they want to share. So, Gabriela, once again. I, I have a question for you. Yes, please. About the 12 programs. Are they subtitled or are they voiceover? Dubbed. Subtitled. I mean, dubbed, meaning voiceover. voiceover. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Because right now we've got more programs that are subtitled. But I, I never count those because, no. I mean, who's reading? Right. Who's well, subtitled and you're exercising? Nobody. Nobody. Right. So, yeah, the ones I count are the ones that are dubbed. Okay, awesome. No, I know that you've done an amazing job since you've came on board. Because I remember when I started back in 2014 in, in April. Well, you know, I signed up March 31st, but my first challenge group was in April. In May, I was running two challenge groups, one in, in English and the other one in Spanish. And, and then, you know, from there, people wanted to kind of know a little bit about the business. But the challenge group, I had to, like, literally translate everything. There was no material. You know, in English, there was enough. And then for the coach basics, nada, nothing. And I was like, ay, Dios mío. And now we, I mean, we are fully equipped to train someone in Spanish. So there's like no excuses as to why we can't really bring on someone who only speaks Spanish because we have, you know, the resources. That's right. And now something very interesting. You know, my, my good friend and, and colleague and, Kim Carver, you know, you know Kim. I mean, he speaks Spanish also. And Kim and I, we've we've worked in the past together. We we've traveled the world. We've we've worked with other companies and we've taken companies international. And the cool thing is that Kim also speaks Spanish. He's one of the best trainers ever. I mean, in the company, there's never been a trainer like him. And I will it will it will be hard to find anyone like him. But the cool thing is this: he's constantly thinking of how to support the Spanish market. So every time we come up with a new tool soon after is also available in Spanish. So in fact, we've got a new program and I don't know if you've seen it guys. It's called the first 30. First 30, write this, write this down. If you have not seen the first 30, uh, let me, if, if you accept, let me give you an assignment. Go find the first 30, okay? It's a, it's a super basic training that talks about what you do your first 30 hours in the business. First 30 hours, right? First 30 minutes, okay, first 30 minutes, first 30 hours, first 30 days. And it's a complete guide of what you have to do in the first 30 minutes, first 30 hours, first 30 days. Guess what? Your coaches, when they sign up right now, they get an email. Immediately after the sign up, immediately after the sign up. That video is, I mean, that email is a link to a video. And then the video is our friend and president Jeff Hill, he gives them a welcome. And also a training on what they should be doing in the first 30 minutes of business. Okay. All that is in Spanish right now, right now. The guides, everything is in Spanish. So yeah, like Gabby's saying, we've got pretty much everything we need to build in Spanish. And uh, uh, the, the elite gold guides that we just came up with with the new elite programs, all in Spanish. The training in Spanish, everything. So, yeah, we're, we're super ready for you. If you want to build in Spanish, I tell you, we're ready for you. We're excited. Carlos, sorry, Carlos, can you tell us again, you said Coaches Latinos. Coaches what? Latinos, the team beach body. Thank it's you. a group. It's oh, a I'll, share, group. I'll share the group in our team page. Okay. Yeah, so that you can just request access. Yeah, and, and, and if you are a leader, I mean, a diamond or a star diamond, and you're super committed to your business, we also have another group that's called Leaders Latinos, the Team Beach Body. And that one is basically, there we talk more about duplication. I mean, it's, it's not just tactics on how to 
a, do challenge groups or or a, a acquire new customers, but we're actually talking about how to train other coaches and so forth. So if you're interested in that one, please, you're also welcome to request. That's awesome. Thank you. Cool. Great. If anyone doesn't have anything else for Carlos, any final thoughts, then we are about to say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos, so much. Me, hold on. I just have a total fangirl moment because, Carlos, I love how you conduct the, the Spanish calls. I mean, it's like I've told this to you before on, on, your, on the wall. I'll tell it to you again. You make us feel like we're having coffee with you and we're all friends. And I think that's the same. It, it's, it's the beach body feeling throughout. And you just do an, an amazing job on those calls. Guys, thanks so much. I appreciate the Ben, and, and, and you know what? Really, that's what we want to do, guys. That's that's who we are. If we want to really help people, we need to make them feel like we're the neighbors. We really want to help them, you know. So, Gladys, thanks so much. That it really it means a lot to me. Thanks, I appreciate it. It's so true. I mean, I think that <laughs> I would have probably not been able to speak if it wasn't you interviewing me because you made me feel so calm, and I, you just have that, you know. Um, you have that aura that it's that calming aura. So you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for jumping on, you know, and giving us these three amazing tips. Yes. Picture. Thank you for reminding us. Where, where's everyone? And then every, so just someone, one person on the phone. So hang on. We're going to smile. Okay. Smile everyone. I take like, oh, get in, get in. <laughs> All right, took like a million. <laughs> All right, thank you so much again, Carlos, for, you know, joining us on the, well, actually for guest speakers is the last call of the year. So you had the privilege to end it for us. So with amazing information, we appreciate you. We appreciate everything you do. And Everyone, have a great night. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes. Feliz Navidad. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Bye.